Hey, hello and welcome, it's the Crocheteer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a Stormtrooper helmet keyring. This keyring is quick and easy to make and looks very effective. So, to crochet the Stormtrooper keyring, you're going to need white wool, black wool, and you can use grey wool for the mouth if you wish. Here is a photo, not a photo, here is the Stormtrooper with the black mouth. And then I'll insert an image of the one with a grey mouth which I'm going to make now. So you can choose which one you prefer. I'm going to be using a 3mm hook. You will need scissors and a keyring loop. So, to start off, we'll use our white wool. And we will tie a slip knot. Then we will do two chains. Now we will do six single crochets into the first chain. There's our six single crochets. Now into our first single crochet stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to increase into our next stitch. So in this stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. You're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then increase into the next. So again, two single crochets. You're then going to single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to do an increase into the next stitch. So two single crochets into the one stitch. At this point, you should have nine stitches. Now, we're going to do three rows. Of single crochet, three rows of single crochet. And there are my three rows of single crochet. Now, I am going to do a triple decrease. 
but I'm only going to do it on the inside half of the stitch. So, I'm going to insert my hook into the inside half of the stitch only, and pull a loop. I'm then going to do that for the next two stitches. So pull a loop through the inside loop of the stitch, and then again through a third stitch. Now you have four loops on your hook. And now you pull the wool through all four. Now we're going to repeat that twice more. So we're going to pull a loop through the inside half of these three stitches. And then we pull our wool through all four loops. And then we pull a loop through the inside half of the next three stitches. And we pull the wool through all four loops. Now, you can cut the wool relatively long, just like maybe five-ish centimeters. And pull the wool through. Now, I'm just going to close up this hole. You can stuff it if you wish. I'm not going to, as it's very small and doesn't need stuffing. So now I've wrapped the wool around a few times, that's totally closed off the hole. And I'm going to pull this wool into the head. Now I had some odd wool here. The wool suddenly got very thick for this section. So I don't know if that's going to affect sewing, but we'll see. Hopefully that won't happen to you. So. Now we're going to start on the breathers on the bottom of the helmet. So, for this we need to find where we finished our three rows. So here I can see that here is one of my half loops, and then there's a big gap between my other half loop that's all the way down here. I want to go into the first half loop I have. So not the ones up here, but the one below. So that's the first half loop I created. Now I'm going to pull a loop through. I'm going to do a chain and then a single crochet into the half loop. Now I'm going to do a single crochet into the next half loop. A single crochet into the next half loop. And a single crochet into another half loop. That leaves us with four single crochets. Now I'm going to chain, turn my helmet over, and do four single crochets back down the single crochets I just did. Now I'm going to turn it over, chain, and do one more row of four single crochets. Now I'm going to cut the wool nice and long. I'm then going to pull the wool through the loop. Now we're going to sew this round to make the tube. So I'm going to put my hook from the outside, from the bottom, upwards. I'm then going to pull my wool through. Now my wool should be facing the bottom. 
I'm going to go to the hole where my fourth single crochet was, so the same end, and I'm going to pull the wool through. Now I'm going to put my hook through the end of the single crochets, and then into where they meet the helmet, pull it through, and I'm just going to sew the loop up to the body. You can do this with a sewing needle if you wish. I just prefer to use a crochet hook. And there is one of the tubes. So now we're going to go to the back here, so where we can see our tailing end coming out. And we are going to go into the half loop, which was higher up this time. So, well, when I say higher up, it's actually lower down if you hold the helmet the right way. So it's the last half loop stitch we made. We're now going to insert our hook, grab our white wool again. and we're going to pull a loop through that half stitch. Now, we're going to do a chain, we're going to do four single crochets along the half stitches. We're going to chain and turn. We should see there's one half stitch between the two tubes. Now we're going to single crochet back along our four stitches. We're going to chain one, turn, and go back for another four stitches. Four single crochets. And now we're going to repeat the sewing process, but this time I'm going to cut a lot more wool. Okay, so that's my stormtrooper. Line my hand down, maybe wrap it around again. Make sure you've got a lot of wool, because this is going to make the loop at the top. So I'm going to go like down to my thumb. So it's the length of my hand and down to my thumb. This is way too much, but you always want too much rather than too little. Now we're going to pull the wool through and sew it up again. So I'm going to pull the wool through down to the bottom. I'm then going to pull it into where the single crochet originally came from the helmet. And I'm going to repeat that to sew on this tube. there are the two tubes. So, I am now going to pull this wool up to the very top of the head. So this is the long strand we did. Pull it right up through the center hole at the top of the head. Now we're going to focus on the decorations. So, Starting with the eyes, we're going to grab our black wool and we're going to cut a decent length strand. So, probably do about my hand length and a bit more. That's my strand. And we're going to have 
the stormtrooper face facing us. So here is the half stitch which we didn't single crochet into. Now if you go two rows straight up there's a hole here. Now we're going to go one stitch to the right of that and put our hook through. So this is where the eyes are not going to be. It's this one stitch here. So we want to get that as central as possible. And then we pull our wool through. Now, we just wrap our wool around one stitch, two or three times. I'm going to go with three for this eye. And once you've finished, leave out through the bottom. And then we're going to repeat the same thing, but the other way for this eye. So we're going to wrap this black wool around two or three times. I believe two is enough to make them match. It doesn't. You don't have to do exact wrap them around the same amount of times. You just need to get them to look the same. So sometimes three and two will look the same, just like they do here. Now we're going to make the band around the top of the helmet. So, getting one of our black walls, we're going to put our hook in the center. We're going to go one row and then two rows down. One row above where we put our eyes. We're going to insert our hook round back somewhere and then pull one of our black strands up to it. Here we have our black strand. Now we're going to wrap this around. It should fall in between the rows, one row above the eyes. And we're going to pull it in and through the top if you just make sure it follows the, the little dip between the rows, you can find out where to pull it through. So for me, that is a bit of a diagonal down. Now we're going to pull that wall back down through the bottom. So. At this point, you choose whether you wish to give your Stormtrooper a black mouth or the grey mouth, which I'm going to give this one. I'll pop another photo up so you can see the grey mouth against the black mouth, and you can choose which one you wish to do. So, grabbing our grey wool, going to cut a small bit, it doesn't need to be long. And now, we're going to go directly down from the hole where we didn't put our eyes, and we're going to put our hook through it again. So this is the same thing, just one row down. We're going to pull our grey wall through, make sure it's relatively centered. So now, we're going to put our hook back through under that stitch and pull the wool through. That gives us a little grey line directly under the eyes where the eyes did not go. Now you need to judge on how your crochet fits because crochet always comes out differently for everyone. But I'm going to insert my hook down the bottom and pull my grey wool through. 
and then I'm going to do the same on the other side and this will give the typical downward mouth of a stormtrooper. In my personal opinion I definitely prefer the grey mouth. Just if you were wondering. Now I'm just going to pull all of the strings to the same hole where the black ones are coming out and pull them into the head. You can just pull them into the head, I just try to make my life as simple as possible sometimes. It doesn't always work out. So, cutting all these strings nice and short, I'm just going to pull them in. And there we have our little stormtrooper. So, for the loop on the top, we're going to insert our hook behind, in the one row behind, at the back. And we're going to put it up through the center column at the middle. Now, we're going to make a small loop. We're going to pull a, hook, a loop through with our hook, but make sure you leave a loop sticking out to the top. You want to make sure it's relatively small, but so that you can get the, uh, I've forgotten what they're called, keyring through that hole. Now, we're going to pull our wool through the loop we made and pull it tight. Then if you wrap it round, going in from the top and out through the bottom a few times, that will fully secure it in. So I wrapped it three times there. And now he has a loop. So cut that wool and pull that into the body. Grab the key ring. And then just pop the key ring through the loop you made on top. And now you have a Stormtrooper helmet key ring. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome free patterns just like this and enjoy the rest of your day.